Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care and hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. You know, I have some favorite stories I love to read each and every year, that being one, but my absolute favorite comes from scripture. Don't be afraid, he said, I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. You know, this is a story I could read year after year, month after month, because it's just this amazing declaration of what has been brought into our lives, the joy that has been brought in here. I just want to say Merry Christmas to all our friends and family. And I just wanted to come on here and share a devotional with you because I absolutely love this time of year and I, I don't want it to end. And this sense of joy, this sense of purpose and the excitement doesn't have to be contained to just one day and one season. We need to continue it all the year. And so I pray that this holiday season has filled you full of hope, peace, love, and joy. And I hope you get a chance to enjoy all of those feelings. I pray that all four of these things would fill your life in every way this Christmas and continue all the year, all the rest of the years for many to come. You see, I hope you had a chance to celebrate in reading of this text in a church yesterday that no matter where you got to go, you felt the presence of the Lord and you walked with this excitement and exuberant joy as soon as the message ended. I am for one and eternally grateful for the gift that we have been given by the birth of our Savior, Jesus. With Christmas, we celebrate the true meaning of the season as we celebrate Emmanuel, which means God with us. Because of this birth, our lives have been changed for the better. And that is truly a reason for each and every one of us to celebrate. I am thankful for the gift of the good news that has been given to us. A gift that shows each and every one of his children how much he loves us and that he sent his only son to redeem us, to bring us back because of the love that he has for us. A gift that is made for everyone. If you're listening to this message, you are a child of God. If you happen to be scrolling through and you hear this for the very first time, yes, you are a part of this family as well. It doesn't matter your economic status, how you voted, what color you are, where you come from, your education. What simply means is that no matter who you are, you have been thought of, you are loved, and you are included. And the gift of Christmas is given to each and every one of us. God loves us all equally, and we need to continue being united and grounded together by the Lord. May that be our call this entire year that we unite together all ends of the globe, joining hands as one kingdom, loving our Savior and loving each other. The best Christmas gift that we can give to each other is this message of love. It's this message of unity and this message of joy. And we need to share it with everyone we come in contact with. You have a ministry built around you every place that you go, and it's our chance to show these things to those people. May this Christmas season continue to bring us together as one family, that we see people experiencing the love that God showed to us, they experience it in a whole new way, some for the very first time. That we as churches and believers come together and be the hands and feet of Jesus in a world that desperately needs some saving right now. May that light shine brighter than it's ever shone before, and we use this call to continue moving forward as one. And I wanted to close with a poem that my great-grandfather, uh, Reverend Harry Pressfield, came up with himself and read to his congregation. And the special thing about this is that it was written around 1930, and yet these words still hold true today. It's called, How Far Is It to Bethlehem? From San Jose to Bethlehem, 8,000 miles over sea and fen, and often must the sun go down before you reach the white-walled town. From Bethlehem to San Jose is not so very far away, for by a miracle of grace, Bethlehem is any place. Any place where love is found, cradled in the common round. Any place where hearts believe, better give than to receive. The man who is in his heart enshrines the music of chant divine and somehow finds the angels near, singing their hymn, Now God is here. 
Who confident this very year, the Christmas star shall yet appear. Still gleams the glory of that night, still glows the splendor of that light. And who, because his soul impels, seeks and finds Emmanuel. That man will find this very day, Bethlehem in San Jose. No hedge of miles nor bound of space need thwart or foil the Christmas grace. For always in the spirit's realm, each place can be a Bethlehem. What that poem means is wherever God resides in our heart, that's the message of Christ being born. So may we carry that each and every place that we go, every relationship that we have, may we share that love that has been shared with each and every one of us. Remember the story of Christmas is a story of God's relentless love and pursuit of each and every one of us. May God bless you on behalf of my family and the team at Movement Church. We wish you a very Merry Christmas and we can't wait to see how God continues to impact this nation in the upcoming year.